Today we're here for Just a Sunday. We're at the Lancaster Performing Arts Center and we're going to be seeing uh, hidden figures, people that make contributions to uh, the United States of America that are African American. So I'm really excited to be here. When I look back over the last two years, being on the city council and being the, uh, the first uh, African American woman to, to hold that position, it touches my heart because I really think about the people that were here before me and, and everything they had to endure for me to be here standing in front of you today uh, having this conversation, um, I have to say it actually just feels extraordinary. I fought for men and women. I fought for black and white. I fought for you and I fought for me. I fought for you. you. This year we have the Antelope Valley High School and we also have the Highland High School coming together to present what we call hidden figures. Those people who did not get included in the history. We hope that the people will leave here inspired to move forward to not select people because of color, gender, culture, or any of that, but what can they present? Because of the color of my skin, all my life I push racial boundaries by embracing black pride and being an outspoken civil rights advocate. Bishop Hearns likes to call it a, a rainbow audience. It's a cultural rainbow. I have to agree with Bishop Hearns because uh, we have everyone. And not only is the audience a rainbow audience, but the cast is a rainbow cast. The choir is a rainbow choir. We have every culture represented uh, in this performance. When you think about the life of Dr. King and the things that he actually has done, uh, this represents everything coming together. So when you look up on the stage, it's our desire for you to see the full melting pot of this Antelope Valley. What does it mean for you as a community member to be a part of Justice Sunday? It means a lot because you have to instill this in the kids to know what history is and what history has done for them. And it kind of leads them to open the door. Now they have to stand up and be accountable. You got to be accountable for what you've heard and how to continue to change to make things better. You can't make a change unless you understand what history has given you.